Okay, this is Turbo1889, that's the screen name I go by on the internet, and possibly some of you have uh, had your mechanic tell you and or seen things on the internet when you looked it up that a particular brand of filters are not good to put in your engine, specifically Fram, because they say that they are junk on the inside. Well, I had just followed my mechanic's recommendation because he said not to use them after I went to him the last time. I looked a few things up on the internet, but I want to see for myself. Now, you will notice one thing here. I had these filters for a month on top of my oil deal, upside down, and then flipped them a couple times, you know, every other week or so. And none of the other videos about this have shown what it is a mess it is when you cut one of these things open. Now, I use the Sawzall method. Uh... Others may have used other methods, but I can guarantee you it is a mess. Uh, I actually have changed my gloves since I did it, and they're getting all nasty again now. But these are the ones you're not supposed to use. Now, I did notice one thing. All of these I cut almost all the way and then folded over the edge. And only one of them, and I've got a K&N, and I've got a Napa Gold, and I've got a Fram. K&N and the Napa Gold uh, fit a standard 350 band. And this is off an old Subaru. And it actually, the metal cracked when I tried to bend it over. The metal the casing is made out of is brittle, which is not a problem with the other two that I noticed. So that's one thing right away you might not have had anybody else tell you. Okay. So the reason you're not supposed to use these is because supposedly the cartridge is terrible the way the ends are capped. And they can also leak down the middle seam. Well, I have to agree with the way the ends are capped. That is, you know, glued cardboard, but I will say the glued cardboard did hold together. So, you know, it is glued cardboard, not metal, but it did hold together. And supposedly they can leak at the seam. Uh-huh, look at this, look at this, look at this. Right there, the seam is starting to split on this one. At least on that one spot right there. I don't know if that's the seam where, that's where the seam is, that's just how they're doing it now. Uh I don't see any of the metal clips other people have said. This is a purchase within the last couple years. Uh, some people might have, some of the videos might be a little older. They are correct about it being a really junk little, you know, that is not a spring. All that is is a holder. So there is no active bypass on this unless you get the hole that decides to blow clean through. So there is, they do have some, uh, legitimate gripes and then as I said the metal actually cracked on this one so I would have to agree that that is another issue that I haven't seen the others in there that the metal the can is made out of is actually brittle now of course everybody likes the rat the little deal to steal to grab and twist them on and my mechanic this is the one he put on the uh, okay it's a Napa gold you know you got the better higher quality washer and you know your cartridge on the inside here and yes i know i sound like a redneck because that's kind of what i am and you know it's all capped off nice and good and we don't have any holes blown through it is a bigger filter but we got a lot more pleats that's all good okay and in the bottom here we do have a real spring for the bypass and as I said, nobody I think else showed how much of a mess this is. I do not, I may be a redneck, but I prefer not to get oil all over the ground. But it's what happened when I cut these things open. And these, these are my, my jack blocks. Uh, when you're jacking something up, you've got to have blocks, block tires, and blocks underneath jacks. So, yeah, just need something to cut on. And, yeah, that's, that's the one from the Fram. That's not near as nice rubber. It's, it's not, this, this is a much... The one from the nap is much nicer rubber. I can tell the difference. It's much more flexible. And this is like, you know, hard, like tire rubber almost for the bypass. But the bypass doesn't work anyway. Okay. Now we get to what I bought when I did the next oil change. And I had to do several oil changes very quickly because I had uh, some issues with 
a gasket that had got a little bit of antifreeze in the oil so my mechanic told me you know I got to change the oil, oil at like 300 miles and then change it like at, like at 800 miles and then I can go back to doing my usual 3,000 miles. First of all the uh, the bypass gasket is just as nice okay and the cartridge is as nice or nicer I think there's actually more pleats to this one than the Nah, well, they're pretty close and this has a real spring and not only does it have a real spring it has an actual bypass valve down there not just the push back on here so it's got like a double deal it's got the an actual physical plastic valve on the bottom of the spring as well as the bypass gasket so there's like a double bypass on this thing K&N okay the reason I got the K&N is because ah this one does not have a bunch of gunk in the bottom I like the fact that you can put a wrench on the back of one of these things because you know if I'm going to stop doing fram with a nice grippy thing well I'd like a I'd like something to grab it with now as you will notice you look real close you can see the points here are pretty gnarly and the wrench dug in and that is what I need to let's get these I just quit getting oil all over okay okay where okay here they are Okay, grab these. When you take off a K&N filter here, and you put a wrench, which is a one-inch socket wrench on the back side, you do not want to use your standard 12-pointer, which is what I did at first. What it'll do is, is there's all a 12-pointer just grabs the very tip, and the wrench socket on the back here is just a piece of sheet metal that's been stamped and then uh, spot welded on the back. And you put this on there, it'll, it'll, uh, it'll, it'll pop off on those little nubbins, and it'll strip the, the points off of that deal. And then you're up a creek, and as you can see, I had to grab it with a big set of pliers. Now, I went down to me, and I tried to find a six-point, like you see here, one-inch socket, and they were really hard to find. Uh, I actually had to go into the impact socket section, and they wanted a whole bunch of money for six-point impact sockets at the regular store, so I went to Harbor Freight, and you know, it's uh, the old Pittsburgh uh, China brand from Harbor Freight, which I would, I don't think I'd trust Harbor Freight impact sockets for like heavy-duty impact use that they're not going to, you know, crack, but for hand use on a filter, no problem. You know, it's like a it's like a dollar fifty socket. You gotta buy a whole set of them, but they're like a buck fifty each. And you know, the the whole set was like you know, ten bucks for the big size set. I'll know. I'll notice also another thing I see on this K and N. The other name didn't have. It's got a really really thick, heavy plate here, with some type of plastic insert that buttons real tight up against the filter deal. The 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 uh, the uh, not filter deal, the, uh, the, the uh, washer here for the bypass, which the Napa one, not that I got any problem with Napa, but Napa Gold is just standard steel. So, I am very happy with the K&N, and from now on I'll be using the K&N, not the Napa, it was the same cost for me to buy K&N as to buy Napa Gold. I'll probably get Napa Silver cheaper, but... Napa Silver might not be as good on the inside, but the inside is just as good or better than Napa Gold. And you got the wrench on feature, wrench off. Uh, I wouldn't recommend wrenching it on because that'll make it really hard to get off. But you know, just hand tighten. And but you need a six point socket, and you have to go to Harbor Freight and buy the ten buck deal if you don't already have a six pointer. Because you try to use a twelve pointer on this, that's what happens to the little tippies, and it just pops right off. And it does you no good. You got to have a six pointer, preferably a six pointer like this one, where you can see the points are actually bored out and the, uh, the flats are fine, kind of uh, concaved, so it actually grabs on the flats, not on the points. And uh, I've already tried this on another KN filter and it worked fine. So uh, you need a six pointer, and KN is good or better than the Napa, and the Frams, they are junk. And the k and if you go on walmart.com, occasionally you can get the K&M for a lot cheaper than you'd expect. Um, 
just uh, letting you guys know uh, from another actual use. And as I said, I'm going to K&N now. No more frams for me.